There haven't been too many sessions of U.S. dollar strength of late, and yet that's what we got on Wednesday. However, the rally in the buck was more a function of profit-taking than anything else, with shorter-term accounts looking to take profit off the table ahead of tomorrow's U.S. employment report risk, and after both the euro and pound could not manage to extend their most recent runs through their respective 2017 highs. A well-received U.S. ISM manufacturing print and some hawkish leaning components in the Fed minutes helped to keep the dollar bid into Thursday. Still, with all that said, the dollar's recovery hasn't been all that impressive, and it will need to push quite a bit more to turn heads. Until then, medium-term and longer-term players will continue to look to sell the dollar into rallies. Even dollar-yen failed to rally as much as one might expect in the face of the broader dollar strength and continued surge in U.S. equities breaking to yet another record high. Looking ahead, key standouts on today's calendar include UK consumer credit, US ADP employment, and US initial jobless claims. There are a batch of services PMI readings due out of the Eurozone, UK, and US as well, though these second-tier releases shouldn't have much market-moving influence. That's all for now.